Hey y'all, welcome to a Taste Challenge Tuesday on Uncle Bub's Bale Buckle Bear Reviews. Hey, this Tuesday, I've got uh, a couple of brews that I'm going to go head to head that are kind of obscure and probably hard to find for most of y'all. Um, but I had them and I thought it would just be interesting to taste challenge them head to head. What I've got today is a Wisconsin exclusive brew called Darth Porter from the Next Door Brewing Company. And it is a 5.5% alcohol by volume. All right. It is Darth Porter. And my wife picked this up for me when she was up there in Wisconsin. Uh, she went to visit my son when he was in Great Lakes, Illinois at, uh, at uh, uh, boot camp. And she went to Wisconsin while, while she was up there and picked this up for me. So this is a, a, a Wisconsin exclusive brew. All right, and I'm going to put it against a Mayday uh, Evil Octopus, which is an India Black Ale. Now, this stuff is a 6.2% alcohol by volume, and I picked this up down there in, in, uh, at a liquor store there in Murfreesboro. No, actually, I picked this up here in Shevel in a liquor store. I found it here in Shevel. Um, this is uh, uh, an exclusive Tennessee brew. A lot of people that, that are outside of Tennessee won't be able to try this brew here. But I had both these brews. They're both dark brews. I liked them both. So I thought we would do a taste challenge and see which one I prefer. All right, I've got a piece of blue tape on the bottom of my Evil Octopus mug. And I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I've got a big old brush pile behind me here. I'm back here on my back 40. Well, my back four. <laughs> I got about four acres here in Bell Buckle. And, uh, and I've got uh, I got a brush pile where me and my wife, my wife mostly, has been and doing some trimming and cleaning up in her yard and some of this some of this area around here. Got a big old brush pile, and it's been raining the last couple of days. And I thought, well, I'll see if I can burn it today. So that's what we're down here doing. Anyway, thought I'd drink some brew while I'm down here messing around. I don't know if it's gonna catch or not. I've I've started firing like three different places, four different places, and. I don't know. It's wet, and I don't know if it's going to take or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Anyway, all right, back to our beer. Um, I got a blue piece of tape on the Mayday glass, and we're going to pour them soft um, so as not to create too much head on them. And I'm not going to try to sniff them or anything um, so I can kind of have a fresh perspective when we try them. But this, this uh, black, India black ale, um, I thought was a very interesting brew and I really liked it out of May, uh, the Mayday Brewery there in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And I will put some pictures up on the screen. My buddy David Simmons liked, the, liked the, the fact that I put these taste challenges, the brews up there on the screen where you can see them. And I like that too because because of the way I've got to set this up, you can't really see the cans or the bottles or whatever I'm doing. So I've started just posting pictures up there where you can actually see what the brew looks like or see what the cans, can labels look like. All right, now for the, the Darth Porter. And these are both delicious brews. And I was thinking, what am, what, what am I gonna challenge? What am I gonna challenge this week? And I got to thinking what I had on hand, and I'm like, you know what? Even though they're obscure, and not a lot of people will be able to try these, I'm just interested in seeing what they would taste like head to head. All right, Darth Porter, Evil Octopus. Next Door Brewery, Mayday Brewery. Wisconsin, Tennessee, so W versus T, baby. All right, so looking at the beer, the, the color seems identical to me. Um, I can't tell a bit of difference. I can see just a little bit of light in the bottom of the glass. Towards the bottom, I can see a little bit of light through it, but as far as seeing through, no light's coming through at all. But, I mean, they're, the, the heads are pretty similar. The, the body color is pretty similar. All right, so now, here we go. We're going to do the swapping around part. Blue tape is on the evil octopus. Here we go, fast forward time. All right, 
we're gonna stop right there I've got them mixed up good I don't know which one is which uh, so uh, wrap my hands around the mugs here let's see what we got mm, sit back and relax a minute let's see I'm getting notes of dark chocolate and coffee in this one and really really I, I need something to clear my palate with but it's just hard to do that when you're doing a blind challenge and you have to hold on to the mugs and I'm just gonna spit I know it's kind of disgusting, but I don't know any other way to do it, y'all. Ah. All right. Okay. Tasting the two of them. I think I can tell which one is which. I think. I'm usually wrong when I guess, but I, I am going to guess that this is the dark Darth Porter because I'm getting notes of coffee and uh, dark chocolate. And I'm going to guess that this is the uh, evil octopus from Mayday. Um, and the reason for that, it tastes like, basically, I don't get notes of chocolate, I don't get notes of coffee. I get what tastes like a heavy uh, beer, basically. It just tastes like a heavy beer. Um, it doesn't really have the roasted notes or anything like that. Man, I got flies just swarming on me here um, it may have just a touch of a, a roasted flavor kind of like a kind of like a bock maybe just a little bit in this one so I'm guessing this is the mayday This one is definitely richer, uh, more flavorful, a um, little heavier. Both of them are, are a little bit on the heavy side, but this one's just a little bit heavier. Uh, it's got more of a flavor impact than this one does. Uh, for both of them to be as dark as they are, this one has a greater flavor impact. I'm guessing that this is a Darth Porter. And I'm also going to say that I actually prefer the flavor of this one better. Um, whatever it is, if it's a Darth Porter, fine, whatever. I prefer the flavor of this one. It's just a little bit richer. It's not too heavy, and it's it's just got a good balance of, of chocolate and, and coffee and, and not overbearing on either one. And this one just tastes kind of like a heavy beer. It's still good. I, I wasn't going to pour either one of them out. I still like this one. It's a good beer. But flavor-wise and preference, if I had to choose between the two, which one would you rather have flavor-wise? This one is going to win it. All right, y'all, so I've made my choices, made my guesses. Let me put them down and see what we got here. If I can find my table. All right, let's see. Put the glasses back on. Let's see what we got. <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. This is actually my Mayday Brewery, uh, my Evil Octopus, with the notes of coffee and, and, and chocolate. And the Darth Porter is just like a heavy beer. Huh. It's still good. It's still good, but flavor-wise, the Mayday Evil Octopus wins today, y'all. I'll be dadgum. I get it. I, 
that's why I love doing these. I, I love doing them because uh, doing it blindly, you just don't know, man. And I had no idea. Um, the Darth Porter, the Darth Porter, being a porter, I would, I thought would have more of the uh, black coffee, chocolate flavor to it than the Evil Octopus. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised, and I, you know, I, I always seem to get it wrong. But hey, I. I'm tickled I picked my Tennessee beer and didn't even know it. I, was, I thought I was picking the Darth Porter. Um, anyway, both delicious beers, but the, the Evil Octopus just has a little more, little more uh, flavor to it. And I'm, I mean, it, it, it's cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny. It's supposed to rain later on this afternoon. That's why I was down here trying to start a fire, and of course it didn't work. They've already gone out. I'm gonna have to try something different. But anyway, hey, uh, if you get a chance to try either one of these brews, an Evil Octopus by the Mayday Brewery out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, or the Darth Porter uh, brewed in Madison, Wisconsin at the Next Door Brewing Company, both of these are delicious brews. This is a 5.5% alcohol by volume. This is a 6.2. Both good brews. I recommend them both. Uh, but flavor-wise, Evil Octopus wins today. All right, y'all. That's been a Taste Challenge Tuesday for this week. Um, I've got some other stuff, interesting stuff lined up in the next few weeks, so I hope y'all will subscribe if you like these. Um, I'm here four times a week for you, sometimes five. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday trying a different beer. And on Tuesdays, I like to do blind taste challenges. So hit that, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know some brews that you would like me to try head to head. I, I've had some suggestions from some, from some of y'all and I'm having trouble finding some of the brews. But rest assured, when I when I can find them, I will definitely do a challenge for you. I love and appreciate y'all. I'll be back tomorrow for a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. I got another uh, Wayne Island brew I'm going to do tomorrow. So y'all stay tuned. Take care. And thank you to the American worker. Appreciate what y'all do. Thank you for working hard to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way. And not depending on the government. Supporting our economy. America don't roll and move without its workers because the government don't do a damn thing. Cheers, brothers and sisters. I love y'all.